Hello, welcome to Minecraft Maker. This is Theron, and uh, we've got a little setup going on here with the blaze rod that I collected last time. Made a brewing stand. Got some uh, some potions that I've brewed here, and I've got some uh, supplies to brew more. Water. I'm just using a block of water instead of cauldron. It's bulky, um, but you know, it's. Uh, I suppose I could probably place. I get rid of these and replace these with signs or something like that trap doors I don't know but this works forever and you have to keep refilling the cauldron which is annoying uh, and then uh, I've got a small nether wart form the farm yeah okay cool and uh, snow snowball farm um, and then I used I got two blaze rods I used one to make the brewing stand and the other to make a pair of ender chests yeah, so I've got some snowballs in there. I'm going to pull out some of these potions um, and carry them with because the nether is a dangerous place. And I was looking at the... I was re-watching the tape and I think I got cheated. Something weird happened. Um, I was at the nether fortress and where did I stick the other nether ender chest I was at the nether fortress and I did something I, I must have whacked a, a zombie pigment or something along those lines and that uh, of course then got all the guys at near the, the fortress kind of aggro towards me and as I wandered away on the walkway I, I walked by a couple more guys and they were okay they didn't attack me I definitely got within their attack radius um, so and then when I got back home or back back to the sort of home base in the nether then I got attacked again and I don't know I didn't do anything so I don't know it's kind of weird and I've been dreading going back to the nether. I've been doing some resource gathering. I've done a few things. Done some played around with the brewing. Um, and so I'm going to... I saved this. I saved this to... Uh, let me, sorry. Let me get the brightness up here. And I saved this for, the, for when I was going to record next. Because I really, I hate doing this, but I need a usable nether. I need more blaze rods. There's more time to play around there, so. So, I'm going to cheat again. There was a pig man running down this hallway towards me, and he was right about here, I think. And I was concerned that the moment I stepped out, he was going to go all aggro and, and murder my face. Which is not cool. So, a couple things I'm wanting to do. I'm going to go place this ender chest out. Oh, no. Must, all the blocks must be up there. I should have brought more stone with me. I have plenty more stone. And this is annoying that I, that I kind of feel I need... I call it feel this is cheating but it is see it's too quiet here now anyway um, I'm not going to play too long like this it's just it's it's frustrating and it's supposed to be a game it's supposed to be fun you know while we're here let me plug up this lava column because I it's a landmark but at the same time get it oh shoot okay one more out this way now can I get it oh maybe I oh oh it's coming off oh dear lava particles oh there's more lava up there okay so anyway 
makes me feel a little safer, but I guess not really. Okay. Oh, so how's everyone doing? It is currently Saturday. So, wait. Why is there zombie flash up here? What is that? Maybe I killed a pig man unknowingly on my way back. Oh, I'm, okay. I'm sure the game doesn't just freak out and cause the pig man to, like, murderize you. I should have brought that other pick, too. I have an efficiency one diamond pick, which is a little bit better for digging around in another rack. So I'm just going to run down to the end here, place this ender chest so I can get stuff. And then I haven't decided if I'm going to, I'm going to wander down to the fortress a little bit and look around. I'm not going to do much. Um, I just want to have a peek. And then I need to figure out a strategy on how to how to deal with this. The, the way I'm getting down to the fortress now may not be the best choice. I accept that. And I'm also thinking I should put in a rail line here. Because as best as I can tell, hitting a zombie pig man in a, in a minecart doesn't, uh, doesn't freak out the pig man. As best as I can tell. <laughs> Boo! That's pretty cool. All right, so let's go. Let's go down. So this is all okay, but then I should build a better pathway down to this, and this provides some protection. But frankly, see, it's weird being so quiet. Um, but frankly, I should probably rebuild this out of brick. All right, I'm coming down here. It blocked it off. Okay, and this takes me right down to Fortress. And then to get down into the Fortress. I hope everyone can see this okay. I do have the brightness turned up. Let's, uh, I have a little ladder here. Which I should probably improve upon. So I don't hurt myself. And then here... Of course, by the time I get down here, this place can be lousy with wither skeletons and zombie pigmen and such. So I put some markers in. And again, this might not be... I may have to change my marker strategy. I use this in caves. I put two pieces of dirt and then, then position torches such that if you can see all the torches, then you're facing the way to go out. So this is the way out. If it's kind of diagonal, so I'm going to put them on two sides and I leave them off on, on the third. Um, I've blocked these off because they're dead ends. This still needs some exploring down here, it looks like. Oh, yeah. Now, I've been down there, and I think I opened up the chests, and I opened up that chest, and I pulled out the... Oh, that's the problem. I need to put another marker in here get me back here now if I'm running running through here running away from wither skeletons having this in the way is probably not great or maybe it's okay I don't know I like this oh interesting I can do a little shortcut there this goes upstairs okay I just need to put in more markers this is probably fine and then this comes out to the area where this is going to be the best place to be trying to get wither skeletons and blazes because I need more blaze rods and I guess this intersection or intersections like this where I have two next to each other here are, are going to be the highest sort of opportunity for spawning so what I'm thinking of doing okay my understanding is that the, the nether fortress is generated out of out of modules or pieces or chunks Let's not use the word chunks. Oh, this is really dangerous over here. <laughs> oh, boy. Um, and that an intersection is one chunk or one module. Uh, walkways are another module. And then there are rooms as modules. Oh, cool. And there are rooms as modules. And there are... Oh, it's still dark. I can't see. 
Yeah, I did change my video settings, right? Yeah, I did. Okay. Um, there are hallways and and uh, the all these different components, rooms and hallways and walkways, intersections. These are all components that make up the Nether Fortress, and they sort of get generated right now. Uh, they get it generated um, at random when the fortress is generated. And that is the way out, okay. And that they can be generated into and through bedrock and all the interior spaces of the structures will be generated. It will be empty. It will have air. Oh, blaze spawner. Well, that's good to know. Why is there gravel here? It must have fallen from up there. That's weird. So this is kind of a dead end. Oh, I could set up my little blaze farm here, maybe. Okay. Yeah, that's good to know, though. Hallway, and both of these hallways lead back out to the walkways. Is that correct? No, wait. Sorry, I should be. I should just set the difficulty back and start letting stuff spawn around me, but I'm curious. Oh, that goes to nowhere. Okay. So, see how this just ends in Netherrack? Well, that's the end of the piece, the end of the module. And it ends over here. So, this is a walkway that happens to be generated inside a uh, Nether. Uh, a pile another rack. <laughs> okay, so if I come here, oh, this is interesting. That could actually be very helpful. I got plenty of blazes that spawn out here. I, I've seen it, but so I could connect this intersection and this intersection here and build a. Um, a uh, wither skeleton spawning area that will maximize their spawning. I just need to find a safe way of accessing it <laughs> because as we saw last time that that is the challenge. Okay so all right well let me look at these chests here. I think I left all my stone back at home What I'm going to do is I'm going to empty out this into another rack. What's in here? Got more snowballs. Let's let's put it in here. Oh, I got a ton of stone here. Okay, so that we're fine in terms of stone. And I probably should I should try and establish a forward base down on the Nether Fortress. Somehow. That will be my challenge. Alright, so let's put this back. So I'll probably go down there and build some sort of a structure. Then hopefully probably need I need to I need to do a little research. So instant health region, so health and fire resistance. That could be good. Okay. And um, do some each do some research because each section has a um, what you would call a let's go watch them spawn has a bounty box in which see oh wow they're already there hello uh, well, let's get some stone goodness gracious Theron I'm a little discombobulated today sorry um, each fortress section or segment contains, uh, has a bounty box. It's part of it that, uh, defines where it exists. It's not like the entire chunk, like the way, say, slimes spawn in the overworld. Um, should I leave them? Uh, am I going to need slabs? I'm probably going to need some slabs at some point. Okay, let's, uh. 
if we can improve the situation down here because this is still a little scary. So let's uh probably don't need these torches at the moment. Let's see if we can Hello Ghast, I hear you. I do not see you. I'm sure I will see you soon enough though. There you are. Oh Oh, that was dumb. <sighs> okay. I didn't take too much damage, though. Oh, goodness. But notice what happened. My walkway got partially destroyed, which is why I need to do this. Okay. Build this out. Okay. I'll place it. Last thing I want to have happen is I walk down from here and just walk off the edge. So I'm going to build this out with, uh, with some stone. Which is... I, I don't know if ghast proof is a... Uh, is a, a hubris sort of thing to say, <laughs> but um, certainly it's more gas resistant than the, than the nether rack. And over time, I want to replace as much of this nether rack that I'm walking on here with stone, and probably build a structure around around the walkway, the area that I'm walking to. Right, add some safety rails, make it OSHA compliant. All right, and then uh, probably should put some pumpkins in up here too, but for the time being, we're just gonna do this. All right, and then uh, oh, I should probably put stairs in here or slabs. Oh, there and careful. See, this is why I need that efficiency one pick. That's kind of ridiculous. Put more bricks down here. Oops. And then this will give me a little bit of cover. I'll go get some slabs. And then I can make this so I can just walk upstairs or slabs. Up to my little cover area. I do have some slabs here, so let's grab those. Just to make everything nice and convenient. Okay. I don't need that. Oh, did those are annoying. I like having the clock. Um, obviously, it doesn't help in the Nether. I like having it, especially when I'm down in caves. A lot. I guess it doesn't really matter unless I'm wandering about. So let's just do this. Get rid of those. Okay, come on down here. And it would be nice to have it. Whoa, oh. That's a little dangerous now, isn't it? It'd be nice to have an overlook where I could safely stand up here and just uh, pick off these guys. Now, that blaze that I shot didn't drop anything, but this one might. I don't see it. Let's go down and look. Hello, sir. How are you today? Enjoying the accommodations? Okay, just be careful. Yeah, see, I'm more likely to jump off there than I am to actually climb down the ladder. 
this way goes out. Oh, I got some some gunpowder. Yay. Another blaze up there. Oh, I got another blaze right here. Awesome. And a wither skeleton. Okay. So I'm going to try and make this like a safe zone. And I don't know if that means I have to build above it to keep out of the spawning range because I believe all kinds of nasties can spawn up on top of here. And I don't like that. There's another place. Oh, or not. Okay. All right. And I don't know if dirtying this off really helps at all. So I have a bla I have two blaze rods. I'm a little nervous right now. So let's go drop off these snowballs and go home. Drop off this stuff. Hi, Mr. Pigman. I mean you no harm. Seriously. <laughs> Now, if you come to the overworld, I have a, I have a, I have a water ride that you are more than welcome to enjoy. Okay, so let's put another rock up here. This is another brick. I need more. I need more storage here, don't I? Okay, not a problem. Okay, so um, so there we go. I'm going to stash the stuff in here, probably. Put the blaze rods in here. That's what this thing is intended for, right? And gunpowder, miscellaneous stuff. Um, put the slabs up here. Yeah, I need. I have, ch I have more chests here, so let's just let's just make more storage. Should be okay, right? So let's put the snowballs up there. Make that snowballs and slabs and bricks. And all right, and okay, that should be good. Dirt up here, and uh, yeah, let's put another double chest up here. And then these bones, I don't really need the bones. Okay, so I have, have stuff here. So I have potion of fire resistance and of healing. Did I bring a regeneration potion? Yes, okay. Okay. Now that those blaze rods are safe. Is the gas still out here? And I understand the gas cannot see you or target you through um, through glass. So I may line the um, the walkway, my my sort of nether highway. Where is it? With uh, with glass, just to make it a little safer. There she is. Oh, that's a long ways off. <laughs> okay, I can get down. Okay. It'd be nice to get a couple more gas tiers, too. drop another rod yes you are awesome thank you so much <laughs> okay blaze powder for days 
Okay, before I go around the corner here, let's go ahead and drink this potion of fire resistance. spawn another hello yeah I think this will work I think we can build a farm out of this I can block off these make an entrance still got a little bit of fire resistance time on me left make it a little easier for me to get up here let's, let's lay some torches oh torch some torches here anything special do I a potion of fire resistance and some diamond armor should be enough I've got like nine place rods now this is awesome I just need to protect the dang spawner ooh that drops down I want to cover that up alright this is kind of awesome I wonder if there's a light level thing here, like if I could make this so that this, uh, I'll have to look on the waking. Ooh, what else did he drop? Oh, is that an experience orb? Okay. Alright, well I've got uh, a minute left on this fire resistance potion, so I'm gonna hang out here and collect some more blaze rods, I think. Uh, this is now I got 14. Thank goodness for the looting sword. Um, where are we at here? Okay, I can take one more pair, I think. And then I should head back. And I'll call this an episode. Thank you for watching and uh, putting up with my neuroses. Come here, dude. You can come here. Did I catch those? I think I... No. I did not. He didn't drop anything. Okay, let's go. All right, thank you very much. I will see you next time. And uh, this has been Minecraft Maker. My name's Theron. And um, I will see you. Oh, Magma Cube. Oh, goodness gracious. I'm going to drink that other fire resistance potion, I think.